So this is Synesthete by Team Six. Synesthesia, a condition in which shaman experiences things through their senses in an unusual way. For example, by experiencing a color as a sound. Whilst there are differing views as to whether it is a form of neurodivergence, there is no doubt that people with synesthesia see the world differently. Inclusivity within the art generated is something of great importance to our team. Not just art that looks cool, but art that also holds space. And as someone that sees the world differently, whilst not with synesthesia, the idea of the world being seen through the eyes of someone with synesthesia and bring the majority into their world is <coughs> exciting to me. We want to focus on making the unusual usual by giving a broader, more fuller, personalized experience whilst using data-driven insights. Um, so during our presentation, we'll be going through playlists, uh, specifically of Amapiano, data gathering, how it will look visually, limitations and next steps. Ama Piano is a lifestyle with various trending cool dances, the soulfulness, the house, the jazz, and the fashion at the heart of the genre. Ama Piano is all about drip and about relatability. The coined phrase Ama Piano to the world has entirely been the case as its rapid growth has sparked the interest of artists such as Drake, Burna Boy, and Georgia Smith. It's taken the world by storm with, on TikTok with the hashtag I'm a piano hitting almost 7 billion views. The three subgenres of I'm a piano include Bacardi, private school I'm a piano and Geek. And as a group, we chose this genre due to the progressive, vibrant, colorful nature of I'm a piano. And we thought it would be perfect, a perfect example to use. I created three playlists for the different genres after enlisting the expertise of a Norwich-based Ama Piano enthusiast and consultant, Peace Kiriuki. And we'd love to extend Synesthete to paint the picture, even for labels and DSPs of different subgenres within other genres in African music and the rest of the world. Um, so as Tiffany just mentioned, we curated um, some Ama, Ama Piano um, playlists and we're going to map a playlist and all of the data within it uh, to a piece of art and to create a unique um, image off the back of the data from uh, within the playlist. So to do that we need to gather the metadata and um, we did that for Muzio and Luminate. Uh, we also gathered um, playlisting data from Chartmetric um, and we then map the metadata um, to um, uh, instructions to then feed into an AI uh, image generator. So here's a, a quick uh, run through as to how that would look, uh, a quick high level overview. Essentially you'd have genres uh, which would map to a color palette and then um, you'd get the, uh, the vibe from the, the track which is um, uh, given by the, the mood. Um, and each uh, mood would then um, map to uh, the, the visual style of um, uh, the image that we want to create. Um, so the most uh, simplistic way to represent a piece of music is with uh, genre and color, but there are many other different ways. So we think the brush stroke uh, or the distortion, the density, the different shapes um, that can be used. There are many, many different ways that you can represent art, uh, music in art. Um, and we want to take a large amount of data points and make something bespoke and beautiful. So why is this helpful? Well, crucially, this will be a new way to browse music. So on something such as Spotify or SoundCloud, you could be browsing through tiles, which are a visual um, representation of the music within the playlist. So a limitation here is music and art as a whole is very much subjective. And so different colors and their combinations can mean different things to different people. But synthesis will not just, not just add value to the overall music experience, but be also inclusive and evoke a nation while making the overall music experience better. It could also be monetized by offering the algorithm with a 
suspicion mode in the sense that you can serve as a B2B and B2C. I'm going to have to stop could right be... there. We are out of time. Okay. Thank you very much. Um, we'll get three minutes now for judges to ask questions. Um, Felix, you want to go first? Uh, I think Zoe Thanks, raised her hand first. <laughs> Oh, okay, Zoe. I think I already asked too many questions, so you go first. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I, I wanted to ask if you can expand a little bit on the value proposition. So what is exactly what you're solving in all of this workflow or data flow from music to uh, the image? So is it like you're finding the perfect prompt to create an image from music, or can you expand a little bit? I I believe that the idea is to be able to represent a, a, any collection of uh, songs with a visual. So if you can imagine uh, a country or a region or a city or a playlist or an album, being able to have an algorithm which essentially condenses the metadata down from that uh, collection of songs into one image would be a really nice way to be able to summarize it and even browse it, um, particularly to be allow people to, uh, to explore music in a less kind of, uh, yeah, in a different way. Does that answer your question? Yes, thank you. All right, Zoe, you're up next. Thank you. My question would be, um, who's your target audience? Is it the hardcore music lovers or is it the art lovers? Um, I think in terms of um, the target audience, it would be the DSPs as um, Granger um, uh, almost mentioned. Um, so like uh, targeting Spotify and, uh, and, uh, and Apple uh, to be able to um, sell this idea to give them uh, the... What, sorry, do you want to jump in, Granger? Yeah, um, business... The business in this case could be the major or independent labels, or it could also be DSPs like Spotify and Apple that have um, that creators. Then it could also be artists or their whoever is in charge of their team. Then also individual playlist creators too. And what what do you think would be the benefit for Apple or Spotify to jump on this? So if I could just say, I think one of the main things is at the moment, it's really important to have um, inclusivity um, within music. And I think the opportunity to be able to see something through somebody else's eyes, but also have a custom piece of artwork um, would be incredible. Um, Grandra, if you want to build on that. 